Good morning, everyone. My name is Carly, and we are here in the seasonal garden at Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park. This is one of my favorite places to come, especially when Michigan decides to pull some snowy weather. When it's supposed to be spring, I like to come in here and remind myself that spring is coming. And as you can see, it's already in full bloom here in our seasonal garden. And I'm here today to talk to you about the butterfly life cycle. So you all know that we have some really special creatures flying around in our conservatory, those butterflies. But before they become butterflies, they go through three specific changes in their life cycle. So we're gonna talk about that today and I have a little picture to show you here. So this is a picture of the different stages in a butterfly's life cycle. And they go through one, two, three, four major changes here in their life cycle. And that has a special name because that's a special thing to go through a complete change. So we call that complete change metamorphosis. Can you try and say that with me? Metamorphosis. One more time, we'll clap. Metamorphosis. So metamorphosis is the name for that complete change that the butterfly goes through. And the first Thing, the first stage is the egg stage. So a butterfly actually starts out as an egg. And do all butterflies look the same, boys and girls? No, they don't. They look really different. And I'm gonna show you some pictures of some different butterfly eggs in a minute, but let's talk about how they get there first. So what's gonna happen is, we've got our female monarch model here, and we're gonna talk about specifically the monarch today as our example, is the monarch butterfly is going to lay her eggs on the underside of a milkweed. We've got a milkweed plant here. Um, butterflies are really particular about the types of plants that they lay their eggs on. They're called host plants. And so the monarch's host plant is a milkweed plant. And in the female monarch can detect the milkweed with little chemical receptors that she has on the inside of her antennae. She can kind of sniff them out or sense them out. Um, sometimes butterflies will also kind of scratch the top of a leaf just to make sure and it'll release the smell that that particular host plant has. Um, and then she's going to use um, this kind of like a sticky substance that comes out of her abdomen to lay the eggs on the underside of a leaf and monarchs are gonna lay their eggs singly. And I want you to take a guess as to how many eggs you think an adult butterfly can lay. Let's see, did you guess more than 10? Did you guess more than 100? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. A female butterfly can lay up to 500 eggs in her adult lifetime, which is only in two to three weeks. So they're really busy egg laying machines. So she's gonna lay her eggs on the underside of a leaf. Why do you think she might wanna lay her eggs underneath and not on top of the leaf? Hmm. Well, if I was a really hungry bird and I could spot one of those butterfly eggs, that might look like a really tasty treat. So I think that the female monarch is trying to protect her eggs. So she's gonna kinda hide them a little bit. So she puts them on the underside of a leaf. So they lay their eggs on the underside of a leaf, and I also have a picture here to show you of those butterflies laying their eggs. They kind of curve their abdomen up and stick them on the underside. And then remember when I said that not all butterflies look the same? So it would make sense that their eggs didn't look the same too? Look at those butterfly eggs. Look how different they look. How are they different? Well, this one's kind of yellow and it has a cone shape. This one's a really bright blue color. This one's kind of spiky. This one's really smooth. It almost looks like a pearl. And then this one's kind of clear and it has this dotted pattern. And I know that many of you who have been here before, one of your favorite butterflies in the conservatory is the blue morpho, that really pretty blue, shiny butterfly that's bigger. This is the blue morpho butterfly eggs. That's what they look like. So butterfly eggs look very different too. And so, so we talked about the egg stage. Let's bring our metamorphosis over here again. So after the egg, some, 
something's going to hatch out of that egg. What do you think is going to hatch out of that egg? Did you say caterpillar? A caterpillar is going to hatch out of the egg. So we have our monarch caterpillar here, my little model for you. It is yellow and black and white, and it's striped almost in like a zebra-like pattern. So the caterpillar is going to hatch out of the egg, and it's going to be very, very hungry. That the first thing that that caterpillar is going to eat so here he is hatching out. This is a monarch caterpillar hatching out of the egg. What is that caterpillar eating? It's egg casein. That's its very first meal. Kind of gross, but it's really nutrition, nutritious. So the caterpillar is going to eat its egg casein first, and then you know what? It's not going to stop eating. It's going to eat and eat and eat. And as it eats, it's going to grow and grow and grow. A caterpillar has a lot of growing to do in uh, the two weeks that it's a caterpillar. So I have a picture for you of how much that caterpillar is going to grow here. So as it eats, it's going to eat leaves. And a caterpillar can eat its weight in leaves every single day. What would it be like if you ate your weight? in food every day. I'm thinking maybe if I weigh about 40 pounds, I'm thinking about those big bags of potatoes that you buy at the store. They're usually 10 pounds if you get the really big one. That's 10 pounds of potatoes. I would need 10, 20, 30, 40. I would need one, two, three, four bags of potatoes in one day. I don't think I could eat that much. But a caterpillar can eat its entire weight in leaves because it's basically one big stomach. Its stomach runs from its head to its tail. So that's its only job. It needs to build up enough protein so that it can metamorph into its next stage. Um, so we have some really special friends here today at Meyer Gardens that I wanted to show you. So if we can come over here, let's take a look. We have some really special friends here today, and I want to show them. Come on over here. Let's take a look. We have some really special monarch caterpillars. Take a look at them. They are munching away on milkweed. Oh, look. We've got one here underneath. How do those caterpillars stay on? Look at this one's almost upside down. It's got some really special legs. So it has regular legs, but it also has these legs called pro legs. And they are kind of like suction cups. Or if you've ever seen a toilet bowl plunger, that's kind of like what a suction cup looks like. So it sticks to the stem or the leaf and it helps the caterpillar stay up so it can do all of its eating. So they're eating some stems and leaves over here. And then over here, this one's kind of chowing down on a stem, and this one's checking this other plant to see if it's milkweed, too. So, all right, so we were talking about how the caterpillars are eating and eating and eating and growing and growing and growing, but their skin, that hard outer shell, that exoskeleton is what it's called, it doesn't grow with the caterpillar. So as the caterpillar grows, it goes through five instars, which means it's going to shed its skin because it gets too big for its skin. So the exoskeleton gets shed. And as you can see here, here's a caterpillar molting. It's getting rid of that outer exoskeleton so it can grow a new one. So it's going to go through five instars. So here it starts really tiny. It's growing bigger, shedding its skin, growing bigger, molting again, molting again. And the fifth time it sheds its skin is when it turns into something really special. It's going to turn into a chrysalis. Boys and girls, do you think I can get my caterpillar friend to turn into a chrysalis? Okay, let's see. Wow. Oh, it's going to change into a chrysalis from a caterpillar to a chrysalis. Let's get them all zipped up here. There we go. Thank you for joining us today. Have a beautiful day.